So $800, what can that actually buy you? Well, it could buy you 266 mil deals here in the UK or this Lewis Hamilton racing helmet or one better, you could actually do what I did and purchase two prop firm challenges totaling $200,000 in trading capital and try to actually make money from this initial investment. The reason I actually started this series was to show you that it is possible to start from a very low amount of capital and trade it into a larger amount of capital. And as you guys have actually seen from the title, we have successfully done that so far, amassing to over $23,000 in profit from the $800 initial investment so far. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the previous four payouts which we've actually had on this little profit run. And we're just gonna go through how I actually managed to do so, passing the challenges, getting the payouts, and some clips of the live trading along the way too. So before we get into the good parts of the video, I just wanna say that the new advanced trader course, the waiting list is now open. So if you want to be one of the first people to actually join the course, it's more of a personal mentorship. So there'll obviously be fewer people as it is a higher ticket item. And it does mean that you'll get more continued support throughout your journey. There'll be live weekly calls to go through any questions you may have and to check up on your progress. You know, I want to create traders that can trade independently without having to follow people's signals, without having to attempt to copy trade from other people. I want traders to learn to do it completely by themselves. And if you go to a university or college, for example, that can be $120,000 and then you go into a 30K a year job. Whereas if you buy a trading course, like the one that I provide with Link Trading, you can actually learn a skill set that has unlimited potential. With trading, there's not a cap on your salary. There's not a certain amount of hours you have to work to reach your salary. It is totally unlimited and it can scale very, very quickly. So if you are a serious person looking to trade how I trade and maybe replicate the results which you actually see in the remainder of this video, check it out down below, linktrading.com, and I hope to see you guys join the winning team very, very soon. So the first account was an aqua-funded $100,000 challenge. And I bought this with a discount code. And this code meant that I could get this challenge for around $280. Comparing this to the normal price for a $100,000 challenge, this was extremely cheap. Felt like I was getting a proper bargain. And I thought that even if it was a bit dodgy at the time, brand new firm, I was willing to take that risk. And you know, no risk, no Rari. So we had to actually <laughs> take the risk on this one, but it paid off. It paid off big time. After receiving my account details, I actually passed phase one. I passed phase two within a matter of days. I'm pretty sure it was two days of actual trading when I actually passed two phases. Can't really get more efficient than that. This was just trading GBP USD. If you want to see that, check out episode one. And then I moved on to the funded stage. This is where a lot of people end up failing. They'll pass phase one, they'll pass phase two. They're on top of the world. They think they are the drake of trading. The markets will soon humble you. You need to stay exactly where you were mentally when you pass phase one, when you pass phase two, when you are actually on the funded stage because overconfidence will lead to you blowing your account. And that is not the goal that we're actually wanting to achieve in our trading. And on this account, I managed to catch some beautiful GBP USD shorts. And this profit totaled around $4,880. So we made around 4.8% profit within the first day of trading on this funded account. And what I did, instead of trying to make millions or be first on the, the prop firm leaderboard, I took the profit and waited for the payout. People struggle with this because they have to wait two weeks, but this is what the prop firms actually want. They want you to have time where you are waiting for your payout while still having a funded account to tempt you into trading more. They want you to trade because they know the percentage of people that actually continue trading and end up going into drawdown and never actually receiving a payout is so large. That is why they have this delay between when you make the profit to when you can actually withdraw the profit to your bank account. So I waited the 14 days and I actually received my payout. And let's say I stopped here. I would have achieved a 17 times return on my investment, but I didn't really want to stop there. So already one to 17 risk to reward in terms of trading, that is very good. So when people compare it to prop firms, they need to kind of put it into perspective, how much they're risking, how much they're actually going to make if they get a payout or if they get a couple of payouts, you definitely need to keep this in mind when you are actually making your profits on the account. It might seem small, but if you actually think, how much would I have made trading $280 originally? Would you have made 4,800 within one trading day? Most likely not. So definitely be happy with the profits you've actually made. And also, 
as a bonus for this, we got the $280 refund as when you pass a prop firm challenge and then get a payout, you actually get refunded the initial challenge fee. So that was refunded back to my bank and I was moving on to the next funded account that they actually provided for me. Majority of firms will create a new account each time with Aquafunded, it was the same account. They just withdrew the profit you've actually made. So it resets to $100,000. I reset to 100K and then started trading again. And on this second account with Aquafunded, I ended up taking three trades. One was a loss and I had two wins as a result of these three trades. The first one, minus 1%. That's what happens. You know, you're not going to win every trade. This was a GU sell. And then the two wins were also GU sells. One was a scale in, and that is what I love doing to my positions just to maximize the profit I'm actually making. I see a lot of people, they start adding risk, adding risk, but you need to know when to add risk to your, to your winning positions. There's no point just keep adding whilst you're in drawdown. You need to know when to add risk, when it actually works for you previously, so then you can apply it to the live markets. So I actually scaled into this trade and we closed out for around $6,400 for the day total. So we made just over 7,500, excluding the loss, 6.4K, very beautiful profits. And then we actually withdrew that from the Aqua funded account and got the payout relatively quickly. There was an issue with Rise. They pretty much didn't reply to anything and it did take you know a week or two to actually get the payout, which I was quite concerned about because when you're waiting for a payout and there's no communication between you and the payment processor, it is quite annoying. You don't really know if you're going to get your payout, when it's going to happen. So that was irritating. But ever since, I've never had any issues with using the Rise Pay feature. And now it brings us on to some new content. You guys have seen those two accounts in the previous episodes of the challenge. And you've also seen that I've passed the True Forex Funds 100k funded challenge. I did this relatively easily. Two trades on both accounts. And I passed within a day on both accounts. Which... That is kind of the best thing to actually happen. In my position right now, trading with prop firms, if I didn't trade with them, I'd still be able to live the same lifestyle. I just enjoy training with prop firms and I enjoy the return on investment that I can actually make from them. So that is kind of the reason why I do it. And it does create good content for the YouTube channel as well for you guys to check out. Once I've actually passed, I will just focus on making a single bit of profit. And this is what I actually did on the True Forex Funds account. What I ended up actually doing was just entering one trade. It was a 2% risk and a one to three risk to reward. The reason why I finished trading after one successful trade is because all I have to do is wait 14 days and then I get the refund for the challenge fee. This True Forex Funds account, this challenge, actually cost me around $520. So I knew that that's, that's a good chunk of money and I didn't just want to throw that away. So when I actually make profit on the account, and it's the first payout cycle, I'm going to make a tiny bit of profit and then just wait to get the refund. Because if you wait to get the refund, anything that happens after that on the account or in the, the, the trading process is completely risk-free. So I've got my 6K, the profit I actually made, one to three, 2% risk, $6,000 profit, and then I get the refund too. So that adds on to the payout which you actually get from them. And then it's completely risk-free. If I blow the next account, it doesn't matter because I've withdrawn 5,000 or after the profit split around 5,000, five and a half thousand dollars. What's not to, what's not to love with that? It's completely risk-free now. It's not like trading a personal account where if I lose money after making profit, I've actually lost money. But with prop firms, if I lose money now, it doesn't matter. I can just buy another challenge and continue the process onwards. I actually tweeted something like this recently. I was actually talking about the return on investment of prop firms. You can fail 10 in a row and you'd be down five grand. Or if you got a good deal like I did with the Aqua Funded, you'd be down $2,800. And then if you get one 5% payout, that's $5,000, you're up $2,200. If you fail 10 and you get one payout, you're making profit overall. And then obviously you get the account again to try and get another payout. I'm not too fussed about failing because of obviously the series. I'm trying to buy accounts. I'm trying to get payouts. And I'm going to add more risk to my trading because I'm trying to do it for entertainment purposes. But if I was actually trading myself and it was my main income, it was kind of my main focus in trading to try and grow the capital that I was actually funded with, I would be more careful with the trades I'm actually taking. I would use less risk. On a funded stage, I might reduce it to 0.5% risk, but I'd always use fixed risk because 
variable risk means that if I'm in drawdown, it'll take me double the trades, triple the trades to actually get out of drawdown, which I'm not really a fan of. I always use fixed risk. So if you settle on 1% or 2% risk, I always happen to stick to that. So I made the 6K with True Forex funds and it was a couple days out from my payout and then disaster struck. True Forex funds lost their MetaQuotes license and they temporarily froze everything. So you couldn't even log into the dashboard. You go on their website and they would just be temporarily closed. This was very annoying. You know, I'm filming a prop firm series. I've got $6,000 waiting to actually be processed to go to my bank and I can't even do anything. I was, I was quite, quite annoyed at that because their systems might be down and they might not be able to give accounts to anyone, but I've still made my profit. I've made my payout. And this did delay the process of actually receiving the payout and receiving the new account details uh, by quite a, quite a bit. Obviously this isn't too bad because I still ended up getting the payout. And what actually happened was they released a date that they were going to relaunch. They relaunched with a new platform called C Trader, which you guys will see. And I was able to process my payout. It did take like a week extra and well, over three weeks from my initial payout date, but because they were down for different reasons, this was understandable and they were quite prompt with actually paying me the money when I actually requested the, the payout. After the profit split and everything, we got around 5,000 something dollars, uh, but we made $6,000 profit, which is just beautiful. And then I got the account details for the next account. With True Forex funds, it differs from how Aqua Funded work. They give you a new account every single time you get a payout. So the account that I got the initial 6K on was a different account to what I actually was trading this week. And this week, I did film some live trading. So cue the trades. It's actually the first time I've, I've used C-Trader, so it's gonna be an experience uh, for both of us or anyone who's actually watching this video. We're currently up around $300. Obviously, it's not a great deal. And our take profit up here is making us just under 6K. And if we lose, we'd lose just over 2K. So one to three risk to reward basically on this trade. You know, we're looking for price. Obviously we broke out this zone, little retest into this zone again to see price break above. Hopefully we actually get a break above this area. Otherwise, you know, if we didn't break the next high, we're looking to probably close the trade out because then, you know, if it creates a new lower high is a sign that price is obviously going to change direction okay so we're actually pushing up a bit now we're around 700 dollars in profit 760 it's very very nice 800 you know almost at one percent profit which is pretty good you know seeing as it's only uh, a few pips in profit entry i feel like the entry is pretty good so if this does rally and break above i feel like we're in a good position even if it does decide to pull back into the zone we're currently in now Okay, so we just broke 1k, currently at 1.16k profit on the account, which is 1%, just over 1% profit, which, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We are now continuing to the upside where we are looking to take our profits. Uh, hopefully we can continue this, uh, this bullish momentum. It's actually into New York session now, uh, so that's obviously probably... The reason for this this push up to the upside obviously our take profit is up here we're about halfway to our take profit uh so hopefully this candle does close relatively bullish and uh, it does give us a good sign to actually hold the trade further and hopefully cash out on around five and a half six thousand dollars in profit and i ended up hitting take profit on this trade i didn't actually film this hitting take profit because I was playing F1 on the simulator. So, you know, I have my priorities. F1, top priority, prop from trading, close but second place. That's just how it goes in my life. You know, F1 will always be at the top. That is why we do have the Lewis Hamilton helmet. It's not just, it's not just for looks on the bookshelf. It's definitely for practical use too. As you saw, we entered the trade. The trade came back to our entry, went up into profit, broke structure to the upside, and we smashed the tape profit. With this account, we are waiting for the payout. It is currently the 6th of March and the payout is actually due or expected on the 18th of March. So we have around 12 days extra to wait before this payout is ready to process. But in the meantime, in those 12 days, I might 
purchase a new challenge and try and scale up the actual capital which we actually have in the account. But the only downside to actually doing this right now is there's so much uncertainty in the prop firm industry. If you are following any prop firms or following any trading news on social media, whether it be Twitter or Instagram, you will see there's a lot of changes actually happening. Brokers are dropping prop firms, there's regulatory issues and with different countries, different platforms, there's so many changes happening every single day and it is very hard to actually keep up with everything that's actually happening. So if you are looking to purchase a prop firm, make sure you do your due diligence. You don't want to spend your hard earned money on a prop firm that has been newly founded that doesn't have any good reviews or people with positive experiences. You're better off sticking with a firm that has stricter rules. Obviously it's not as easy to pass, it's not as easy to actually trade with and get payouts, but you know for a guarantee that they're actually going to pay you if you do everything right. The worst feeling ever, and I actually did experience this back in 2021 with a company called Funding Talent. I passed phase one, 100% win rate. I passed phase two, 100% win rate. And on the funder stage, I made some profit. It's a $25,000 account. I made $1,000 profit. Guess how much they paid me? $300. $300, that's what they paid me. And you know, this was, this was sad. My first funded account, I thought I'll start small. I'll start with 25K. Passed it easily, made profit easily. I thought, okay, I'm ready. Gonna get the payout, gonna get another payout after this. Gonna quickly scale it up. But no, they shut down everything. They gave me 25% of the profits which I was actually owed and then shut down never to be seen again. That is why you don't go with a new firm. If at that time I took the same trades on an FTMO who were open at that time, obviously, I would have been fine. I would have been able to continue trading and it would have been probably a nice, peaceful, easy experience. But no, I tried to cheap out. I tried to go for a, a firm that didn't have the reviews, didn't have the reputation of these bigger firms and it came back to bite me and I definitely regret doing that. But when I actually went with Acre Funded, you know, it was owned by a different firm. They had a really good offer and in my position, $280 is around you know, like 200 pounds or something like that. It's not the end of the world if I actually lose it. So I was happy to actually risk it. So at the end of this episode, episode three of the Funded Challenge, purchased $800 worth of challenges, the Aqua and the True Forex funds. And we've had a total of $23,000 profit. Whew, that is beautiful. That's beautiful to say. If you do the maths, we've actually had a return on investment of 28 times. So 800 invested times that by 28. That's how much we've actually made in profit. So a one to 28 risk to reward, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And hopefully, this run does continue and we continue to get payouts. Based on the maths, we can only get one to two payouts per month uh, because of how long it takes to process the withdrawal, actual trading, weekends and everything like this. So it's not going to be a quick series. It's not gonna be quick to actually get to this 100K profit target, but I feel like we can get there this year. Patience is the best thing to do. And even though my payouts aren't massive, they're not gonna get me number one on the leaderboards. I'm happy of making five, six K every single time because it all adds up. And if you're making 1% profit, you're doing better than 99% of the other traders in the world. So just be happy with the profits you're making. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.